Welcome All right, back, guys. So we are back. You guys are watching Battle Arena Melbourne 9 here in Melbourne, Australia. Next up, you guys yes. would see on the screen. Just as we promised. Quick. It's going to be some heavy hitters of Takedo, uh, the tournament. Takedo's smiling? Why? What does he, what does he know? <laughs> he knows something. He's laughing. He's smiling right now. No he headset. Con cannot contain his happiness that he's get to play Dark Side at Somniac from Somniac Melbourne, Australia over. versus Echo Fox's Tokido here at BAM 9. Battle, the Australian Battle Premier of the Jerseys events. Oh, yes, of course. So We're going full esports now. All right, look, this is. What's up? They start, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I all think right, the go. players are ready. Here all right, they're go. ready. We were just waiting. Classic matchup for our nice shoutouts to finish. Here we go. Versus Akuma, Dark Side Somniac. Yeah. So Somniac is, uh, we're talking Fox. about, you know, people leaving characters behind, but Somniac has been playing Bison for a long Forever. time. Forever. Forever. Yes. Yes. He'll be playing the Bison even after life. Like, yeah. Okay. That's, that's him. So this Bison, Season 2 Bison might be one of his strongest right. versions. He's very recent, happy with the changes, yes. In recent uh, years. Let's see, right away he's ready. Ready to reskill these fireballs. Throw him right back at the to Get off me. Mm -hmm. I'm the hero of the Wow, Australia. interesting answer to the fourth here. Ooh, this times it right now. Tokita says, you know what? Fine. Let's play that game. Content with throwing out the fireballs. Let Somniac try and absorb them. Chase the back crash. Watch this kick action by Somniac. Okay. And yeah. Ambiguous the devil's yeah. reverse. Yeah. Ambiguous plus frames. That's everything. such a powerful yeah. move. That move is everything in one. It's, it's the sampler move. Yes. It's got everything. Another attempt at the head stomp. Blocked by Tokido. Looking very strong right now. The chat didn't believe. The chat was very skeptical. They said there's no way Tokido's gonna lose to Somniac. Yeah. But Somniac... Even Somniac good. had to go through a bit of a break. He was known yeah. as the turtle. Uh, like the turtle style. Oh, oh no! Unsafe! Unsafe, but he kind of got away with it. Tokido was probably expecting the activation, but... He Somniac didn't have did the meter. Yeah. Sometimes he's still coping. Oh, nice! First nice. Nice. Somniac. Yeah, yeah, so I was gonna say. He was the known as the turtle uh -huh. uh, playstyle of uh, Melbourne, or oh, like Australia in general. Okay. And then at one stage, uh, when previously Tokido visited Australia, uh, Tokido gifted uh, Somniac of a statue of a golden turtle. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so this is you. This, this is, is you. who you are. Well, not then, today. Yeah. I think from that point onwards, it's like, all right, I'm going to change my style to be more honest so and sensible. So, Tokido was the, the trigger, the guy who forced Somniac to change his style. <laughs> He's going to beat him here and then get him back to Turtle. Oh. Ouch, here's a bit of a statement made by Tokido. I love that too. I love how the, the light just evaporates one hit. Doesn't Ouch, punish the back punish the back okay. Wasn't ready for that. The back teleport. Yeah, but okay. anti-airs are not so strong, so Tokido's choosing to go airborne a lot with his approaches here. That is pseudo safe in the beat trigger mode. Hold on, wait a second. One clean mix up, one crush counter. It's time to take oh, that round. Oh, that's no. just a dash. Very nice Very work smart. by Tokido. Yeah, he seemed just standing there, just throwing out the stand jab, saying, go ahead, dash, dash. I dare you to dash. Somniac mm -hmm. fell for it. Tokido tying things up first game. Fell through that blender of the chain jabs. Crouches at the last minute, expecting a slide, setting his overhead. Ooh, Ooh. Goes right behind him. No counter hit though, so does not get the double uh, crouching punch combo. Sonic very strong. I'm impressed. Yeah. He's Sonic's doing very well against yeah. the air-to-air -air, uh, defense. Jumping back with the... Uh, Look at that light. That nice. time Tokido's ready. One of the best well. anti-airs in the game also by Zuma. Nice throw break. Very good. Is this it? Is this the Australian hero we've been waiting for? I need a hero. Oh, oh my god. He like knows. Okay, oh, that is unsafe. Safe. No punish on it though. Like safe? I believe it is. All EXDPs into V trigger. Like, similar to Ken. Oh my god. How do get hit by that? He's got V trigger though. Is he going to spend it or is he going to be versatile? Let's see. Does not oh, be versatile. That's going to be combo. Be I'm not sure how Somnia got caught by the fireball. Yeah, he just, he just ate it. He just yeah. stood there. I think he was a bit hesitant on that. He was looking very, very good. Even at the end, he, he had the advantage, and then Tokido just ran it back. Nothing too fancy, just threw out the air fireball, Sonic mm -hmm. ate it, and then a little greedy, didn't want to be reversal. Round one. But, uh, game, game one took number it. two. I'm a believer, though. I'm a believer. If Sonic plays like he did in the last game, Thank I think you. you can take it. We have your support. I, I'm really uh, thankful for that. I am I'm impressed. Oh, yeah. nice. A little delay on the crash punch. Catching a fireball. Up. 
On the one? So Fido getting comfortable now. He's got that one game buffer, you know, so he can get a little more Ooh. wild, a little more crazy here. Sanyak fighting for his life. Punish. Okay. Activate. Oh, no. misses the combo. Nice. Air to air. Very Defense, good. Yes. Yeah, Bison, like I said, no good anti air, so she can go air to air. Oh, and the delay oh. low forward. Match point to Kido. By Kido. Second game looking a lot different from the first game. Like my vision. Round two. This is it. He's got to make it happen Point. now. I believe. On the ropes for Samiak. Nice. He's always on point with that. Yeah. He even Samiak. knows when the fireball is going to come out. Because I wouldn't say it's reaction because it's like simultaneously performed as the fireball comes out. He does the EX stomp. Which of course catches Akuma on his recovery. Counter hit. No combo. Yeah, no again. follow up on that heavy punch. A lot of uh, little drops from Samiak adding up, especially against Akuma, who's only got 850 life, so these combos hurt. So you're not oh. maximizing your damage, you're letting him live. Nice jump in by Tokido. No follow up, drops the combo. Again, that delayed, point blank delay crowd speed yeah. punch. It's uh, every time. Ooh, Ooh, and the parry, he was ready for it. Oh my god. Drops the DP though. Just the EX stop to get away. There is the B reversal right there. Yeah. There's the V trigger ready. That's is that going to be it? DP? No? no, it's a bit too far, I think. Usually Any hit will do it now, though. Yeah, there you go. Any hit, a trade, anything. Sunday has got to make a miracle happen. Okay, throws the stock fireball. I forgot that he had that. <laughs> Save? Saving it. <laughs> Saving for the next one. Okay. Look, he's not taking any beat. Doesn't want to crush counter. Yeah, yeah, and the jump in light kick. Patient, by very patient play right there. Patience has paid off. Well yeah. done, Tokido. That parry on the B reverse. I know there's a there. Tokido was showing off on uh, his show. There is uh, and some sort of option select that Kumis can do against yeah. the B reverse. We have so a replay. Like, Let's see. Can I see that replay? It would be we very see interesting this? to see. Yes. Yes. This is it. And Sorry, it's kind of happened ready to you. For it. Oh. You can utilize the option select like you said. Yep. Also, it is somewhat uh, reactable if you kind of read that the opponent will be a reversal. So. Season 1, 2, Tokido is very famous playing Ryu. Ryu kind of yes. the, the, the inventor of the Season 1 Ryu parry. A lot That's of people right. say it's not strong. Yeah. So it's, it's the same concept. Yep. And definitely Akuma also does definitely benefit from the parry. Which is a really good read that you would uh, want to learn if so your character uses parry. We have a, a very stacked winner's finals right now, guys. This is not... Oh. The Australian couldn't defend the home turf, so we have winner's finals of two Japanese players. Mm -hmm. One of these have to fall into the loser's bracket, unfortunately. Two fan favorites here. At least for you guys, it'll be very entertaining. I mean, high-level play. I just want to see high-level play all day, so this is what I want to see more of. We got Goichi against Mago. Yeah. And speaking of high level, uh, I'm really glad to see a lot of even the local talent here. Yep. Has shown off some, uh, you know, amazing gameplay. So hopefully throughout the day, uh, like, it would be funny to say upsets. But I want to see the upset. Yeah, but I'm still waiting, like man. I'm cool still moment. waiting. We want to see the upset. Samyak was looking really <laughs> strong in that last game. I thought this was it. I thought this was the chance, but yeah. couldn't, I mean, couldn't finish you know, the job. You can rise from the dead. You can always come back from the loser's bracket. You do have to play a few more extra mm -hmm. sets than those guys in the winner's bracket, but... <laughs> So all Here the efforts is. will definitely pay off. Cyclops, Osaka, Goichi. This is a little West Coast versus East Coast battle in Japan, right? Osaka versus Tokyo. Oh, the rivalry. Right here. Mm -hmm. Mago-san, of course. Mago. He is Mago-san. Yes. He is Mago-san. One last minute entries right here. I think he didn't even get added to the pool until Thursday night. Right. And here is the winner's finals. I'm glad Green that he didn't actually make the decision to come down. He's always welcome. What is the chat saying here? It looks like the chat is leaning towards Mago. A lot of people want to stream monsters. You guys like Mago very much. Oh, there's a Goichi fan in there. Hmm. Does the chat still do those press one if you like this character or player? Press one? Like I, want to see, I want to see the names in there. Yeah, 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 what's the names? Definitely guys. people leaning on names. Mago's side. So Goichi. No surprise. He's going to have to rely on his brethren to cheer him on. Mago's current. Yeah, so Mago's sticking with Karen all season one and season two. Goichi, we've seen this. Made a switch from Chun, although he did pick Chun earlier. Right. To dominate yeah. that one guy. Yeah. That's his kind of uh, <laughs> mind games counter pick. Uh -huh. To stick to his roots, Chun But of course, uh, he'll definitely be performing more throughout the tournament with his uh, Ibuki. Yes. That he's always going to pick up your key first, it looks like. So Mago's sitting on uh, the trigger, so he's going to be fishing with that roundhouse right there that I called it out. Left, right, mix up? No, just good for the knockdown. 
Keep that meaty pressure. Still gives him that advantage. Yeah. Oh, misses out the anti-air. Yeah, he got a counter hit, so he definitely went for the anti-air, anti -air, but a little bit too slow. Which way? Oh, he just turned Oh, oh does not work on me, Mago says. How did he get? Oh, he I don't pressed know. something what happened there. there? Goichi, a bit startled right there. I, think he, uh, oh, I thought he got hit. I saw because I saw her turn orange like she was on fire, but that was the EX orange. Oh right, Mongo yeah, was still ready. Caught him on the startup. Yes. Yeah, you got to be ready if you want to. If you want to win in season two, you better be ready to deal with it with these pop mix ups. Ouch! Oh. Reacted to something wrong there. Mago is ready though. Damage in. from the screen right there. Shimmy's out. Mago going for these Misses throw shimmies. The Goichi's pressing buttons. Not gonna throw. I'm gonna keep mashing on uh, the crouch jab. Jumps over, puts Ooh, himself in the corner. Over. A bit of an overextension by Goichi. Yeah, definitely. Putting himself in the corner, but he's gonna make his way out. Which side? Ooh, oh, the, the first time! He blocked the, the hard to block first goal. first time I saw Mago yesterday was in the crowd taking notes on Xian. Would we punish? Damn. The first person in seven months to block <laughs> the fake uh, yeah, I cross up. Amazing. Amazing. Just, just being able to block yeah. something is incredible. So you know he blocked the mix-up, he was unable to, to finish the round. Yes, so right. Yes. One one in the first round. Winners finals, guys, so it's only first to two. We're still in pools. Mm -hmm. This first game very, yeah, very game important. Now. Nice, anti-air. Yeah, Karen usually forced to spend meter to anti-air. Okay. This matchup also battle of the V skills as yes. well. Very similar V skills. Alright, here's the bomb. Go. Let's see. Last time Mago guessed correctly. Inside. In oh. front. Grimy. I Bomb love how she stun. turns around for that split second. Gives Gets it an extra one more combination. Combination. It's not going to kill, but... It's super effective. Which way? Oh, blocked again. Once again, he blocked it. He's got that Sharingan already. Yeah, but look, look at Karen's resources. One hit in the activate in the Super Goji's toast. Ooh, oh, that's it. And the whiff. That's so unfortunate. Fortunate, yes. Very that's unfortunate. So like, Goichi had the right idea. She was but, airborne. Yeah, she was airborne. That sucks. No. See, that wasn't really a mistake. You can't react. You yeah. cannot react. If your opponent's airborne and you land the hit, you it's, cannot it's react. It's already been buffered because yes. of the hit spark, the hit stun. That, yeah. like, that's I'm, not like even, I'm not even playing and like, that hurts. To lose a match where you made the right reads and the decision, but the game did not allow you to win. Oh, no. That is, I mean, that happens to every game. It's doesn't just go, that, yeah. He doesn't go to cactus select. He's going right back into it. I need a break. I need a break. <laughs> I'm hurt from that. He's like... Like, I'm not gonna go down this easily. Yeah, the, the chat is happy. I see the chat very happy. Their, their boy Mago won. A lot of Mago San fans out there. Which way? Behind? Oji picks up. After the first one uh, was successfully reversed by Mago, every other one's landed. These Ibuki mix ups are on point today for Oji. Nice anti air. He's in front again. I think it was unsafe. Mago was yeah. smashing jab, punishing that. Mago V trigger, Ibuki V trigger. One clean hit in the activate will be the round for either player. On the block, it'll give them that extra pressure. Triple dash for it, just good for me, no throw. That was uh, very wary of it. Yes. Oh, and the low fence is it. it. Yep. Don't get greedy, guys. If you're on X, I mean PlayStation 4, sorry, if you're on Net Play or if you're at the local gathering, play some casuals. Save that meter, but if you're in a tournament, no. No. If you're going to win the round, round spend two. the meter. Gonna spend that butter. You Meter see it happen is not all, yeah. a bank. Like the more you have the deposit, it's not gonna benefit you in any way. That, it's that, there for you to use that it. CA up at the top is much more valuable than three bars down on the bottom. Sadly, the meters don't build interest, so uh, yes, you whenever you have bank. an opportunity, use them. I'm gonna save this for losers brackets. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. Imagine if you could save it for like the entire tournament. Yeah, your opponent <laughs> just shows up with like 74 <laughs> bars. So like, what the? I have to confirm this much amount of meter for my next match, please. All right. So Karen again, sitting on the D trigger, going to be heavy fishing with that game. roundhouse. Until Goichi made that weird jump Which in. way? Okay, made it out. The DP did uh, fall for it though. Mago not popping into trigger yet. Still has a chance. Going that oh, time! That time it lands. Yeah, it's gonna keep doing it until it works. They didn't it win yet out. though. This is this is Karen. Look, she has super right now. Oh my god! Not gonna spend up. it. This will kill though. The next hit in the super will kill. Throw out a bomb. Do anything. Goji. Oh my around. god! Once again. again. Same situation as the first again. round where Goji mysteriously got hit by what should be have what should have been a block string, but 
got caught something in the middle there. I'm feeling I I'm feeling Goichi's game right there. Both both games he had Mago down to a pixel. Yeah. He had it and then Mago able to just, you know, pull I mean, through at the end. It pays off being, you know, composed until the end. Mago definitely the victim. Uh, the Kept it cool. In this round. You can see Goichi's pain face behind us. He's got the look of anguish. <laughs> so close. I was so close. Five We're all humans. Three. We Mago have emotions. walking by saying, good game. Good try. Hopefully, I'll see you in uh, top eight. But Mago, that was winner's final. So Mago's out in Definitely, winners. Yeah, he made it out. Top 32. Goichi still needs to play. Uh, make it out in losers, yes. I believe. I believe that's how it's working here. Now we have our local hero once again. It is going to be... Firo from Firo. Melbourne, Australia. Okay, this is from uh, Melbourne. Okay, yes. and you deal Yukadon. Next up on the stage for you guys. Now Yukadon, another Ibuki player. Yes, and Firo, he's uh, quite a character specialist. Uh, he does have a lot of characters that he's prepared. He's got some um, nice earrings on too. I'm liking that. Yeah, and recently uh, he was a very serious player back in the Street Fighter Four days, but now. Uh, on the transition of Street Fighter V's release, uh -huh. he also became a family man. Oh, no. Yeah, so he's been taking care of the family, but because, uh, you know, in his uh, heart and the passion is fighting games, he's been practicing for uh, BAM. And let's see what character he'll show we us. We've got a lot of family today. men now. I know family, yeah. the, the OG family man, Sako, is here. Another last minute entry. He hasn't been on stream yet, but Sako will be playing later. It's uh, really great to see. In Phil, uh, congratulations to him, a new family mm. man. Shoutouts to them flying all the way down here. And yeah, I was going to say, uh, in fighting game community particularly, there's like no, you know, age restriction, whatever. Like, even if you're a family man, you can keep continuing to play. Whatever you may lose in reactions, you get in return for the experience. Yeah, the game. experience. So The intimidation as well. Yeah. You're, you're the OG. You're one of the gods. People, people are scared of you. I love it. The fighting game community where the age group of the contenders is very widespread, so we have a lot of uh, yeah. you know generation changes, uh, transitions within one venue. Yeah, so it's definitely true that you know you have people of all ages playing oh, right now. I don't know what is going on cheap. in the U.S., <laughs> but these young bloods and kids are taking over. All right, so we are seeing Colleen. Colleen for the first time on stream. I think we saw one earlier yesterday, but. Carleen relatively still a new character, yeah. so it'll be a bit of a surprise to some of the veterans also to see what kind of uh, a gameplay they'll show us. Round one. Yeah, both these characters have their set of very set up base characters. Let's see, very technical. Yes. Ooh, that Punish? is yeah. No. That is that is known to be unsafe, but some of the distances are questionable. There you go. There That's go. the correct punish. Yes. So Colleen, uh, new character. Wow, double, double jump. She's got a double jump. She's got a counter. She has like a super armor, parry, V skill. Man dashes yeah. in and out in the air as well. A lot of weird moves. Let's see if Yukadon's comfortable with it. Very uh, unique character design, of course. Nicely confirmed into okay. the V trigger. Sets up the ice. Rain wave. He says, no, I'm not letting you get started. We go with the EX. Yeah, counts V trigger, a combo tool, but also it freezes your opponent. When your opponent's frozen, their stun gauge will not go down. Like That's that. Right, See how yeah. it's frozen now? Your stun bar is stuck. Frozen. Very scary stuff. Nice. Air look, air. At, look at his stun. Yeah. Oh, this might be it. Is he oh. gonna? Yes. Gonna oh. First round to you, Kadon. Okay. What is this? Future? Round two. The future. The future. She's gonna play a big role in the story. <laughs> I gotta play the story one day. The story that unveiled throughout the very nice good punish right here. Street Fighter lore. Oh, Ooh, the I shenanigans! Hit, I have been hit by that at least ten times so far online. I, I can get. I ever get used to get that. Hit yeah. By that. Yeah. How does that even work? <laughs> how does it? It does not block the overhead. That is very un Street yeah. Fighter. I do still. not know how that works. Yeah. <laughs> People yeah. in the chat, people in the chat saying like, oh, day one mix-up. Yeah, but that's a, that's a mix-up you're going to be seeing <laughs> on day like 700. It's still going to be there. The mix-up that always works. Yeah. There we go. Oh, you oh, could have missed out on that confirm. Vera still at a comfortable life lead. Oh, oh my gets goodness. Gets three Getting times in a row. out here. And Buki, the, the new grappler, looks like, spends both charges of the big trigger. He exhales storm. Overheads gets uh, blocked and confirms into the super. Got a little bit YOLO. Unsafe. Yeah, he went. It worked in the last round. He got a little bit YOLO. Try it again. Yeah. It's a big risk. No. You know, for me once. So first game you've been on. Family man, uh, nodding, thinking about something. Mm -hmm.
talking about his daughter. He's like, oh, I gotta, oh, my daughter. I need to pick her up from nursery school. I gotta hurry up and body Yukadon. All right, game two. Hopefully, uh, he can deliver the good news to his daughter when he comes back. I beat this famous player. Your daddy is very proud. Nice, confirm right there. Hey, of point point back. Yeah, point back, fireball, let's go. Oh, that's unfortunate. Right there, what happened was he scored a counter hit, uh -huh. but counter hit actually creates an extra uh, pushback. Oh, yeah. So his follow up did it to Yeah. So it's one of those where you should be rewarded for the counter hit, yeah. but the range actually puts you outside of the combo range. Yeah, I see a lot of players not happy with that, but then other players are adapting. They, you know, they're coming up with setups yeah. that will be both options. So Now, what that also creates is for the defender. Uh, you can kind of get hit yeah. on purpose. Another tool, right? Yeah, there. to escape one of those mix ups. It's gonna combo into the bomb! Ooh. Nice comeback, very nice. down right OG there. G property, all that bomb. Pharaoh's been getting two. close each round, but like we've seen Point. so many times people unable to close out. Wow, alright, what a buffer. Touch down and dash forward for the full combo. Yeah. Throws up too early. He's calling the uh, air to air, very nice. Maybe positioning the advantage. Too. Oh, he buffered it. That so time he was came safe out though. Got lucky, yeah. lucky though. Okay, that's a call for any sort of shimmy bait right there. Nice, good blocks, but the follow-up gets him. Not looking good for the Went family for the man. Counter, but and there is the Shen Classic. Unfortunately, you cannot counter projectiles. The Shen Classic. If you guys don't know what that mix-up is, <laughs> the way it works, we've been seeing it non-stop. We saw Mago block it for the first time, but then he got hit by it two times after. Right, yeah. So the opponent will jump forward, uh, make it look like they're going to cross you up, which means you have to block the other way. But mm. before they cross you up, they sneak out some daggers. Uh, so you actually <laughs> have to be holding back. And technically, you're yes. still in front yes, of yes. the character. It so pretty much you've got to keep your right, eye guys, on you. Welcome back. Sorry for the long break there. We've got on commentary myself, Backstar, and I'm joined with Marthagus as per the morning. Excellent. And up next, we've got a very exciting match for you guys. We've got Xiao Bao versus Dogara. Oh, yeah. Exciting. I love watching Dogara play. He's one of my favorites, even though uh, not a lot of people seem to like rate him for some reason. But I absolutely adore him, maybe because uh, Bison from SF4. Yeah, I love the Bison play. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And yeah, he's a super exciting player um, here in Street Fighter Five with his Urian mix-ups. You know, a very exhilarating player. So we'll see how um, Xiao Bao can tackle this, um, you know, Japan Titan. Good start off here from Xiao Bao. Being really aggressive with those jumps. Yeah, we've seen already three jump ins from Xiao Bao. He's getting right in there. Not scared of the man's limbs. Oh, crush counter. Okay, big risk, but it pays off for Dogra, and it's his turn to play now. Nice, challenging the knee drop. Flips it around. Oh, on the left side. Nice, good, good block. block. Still plus, though, it's still his turn. Oh, and finally himself, Dogra. Yeah, this is a. Oh, unfortunate. And this is where the party starts. Oh, that's a far one though. That won't do anything. He's still going to learn charge. Nice. And that is one of the perks in this matchup. Vega actually has that V-reversal, um, which allows him to escape the Aegis to reflect the mix-up, which is nice. It's going to make this matchup a little bit harder for him. Wow, and that with Punish was insane. Xiao Bao taking out that first round. Is that some uh, pretty crazy play? He's just flipping around all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, Xiao Bao um, really aggressive with um, a lot of aerial play. Jumping in, but once again, Dogra signing up that offense. Nice headbutt. Keeping up that constant pressure there. Oh. And here we go. Oh. Nice back dash. Gets right up to the equation. Catches the jump. Nice, catching it there. He's really not afraid to jump in, and he's not really being punished for it. Yeah, we haven't even seen a successful answer from either player as of yet. Whoa, a normal oh, wow, one. Wow, that catches. Just, I like it. Avoid the scenario. Don't anti to Just dash out. There we go. There First anti of the set. Here we go. Big damage. Here we go. Maybe expecting... I'm not too sure what he's expecting there. No real reversal options from Vega, so I'm not too sure what he's expecting. Ah, catches a button after that headbutt. Yeah, that crouch medium kick. Super strong tool there from Yuri. Plus two on block. And can combo on hit. Yeah, let's see if I'm Xiao Bao opts to slow down the gameplay. But still, it looks like he's going for that really aggressive playstyle. Yeah, he's dashing in a lot more now. And instead, Dogra looking like he wants to slow down the pace, but 
Xiao Bao not giving him any space to work with, keeping him in that corner. And I mean, that's how you play. You want to keep your own pace. Don't let the uh, opponent dictate it. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. All right, so here we go. Don't go the offense. Jeez, just constant pressure. Gets him in the corner, though. There we go. The party's starting. Ooh. Gets a hit, and he can firm, and that should be it. Uh, didn't get anything off that Aegis. Wow, so yeah, really strong showing there from Xiao Bao in that first match. Really aggressive playstyle, lots of jump ins. But let's see if Dogra can adapt and um, you know start to anti those um, approaches that Xiao Bao is coming out with. You know, it's one game. He's kind of probably picked up on the fact that he's playing really, really aggressive here. So maybe he can like turn it around. Yeah, Dogra definitely, um, you know, a veteran within that tournament scene. So I can definitely see him adapting here in game two. Nice realization there. Xiao Bao's done that a couple of times now, trying to catch the throw tech crush counter with the stand heavy kick. And Dogra now mashing out. Still jumping freely. Catching the jump there. there oh, that's a punish. Nice. nice. And counter hit confirmed. Very nice for Dogra. And that's that crash medium kick once again. Such a good button. Oh, Ooh. I don't know what that was. I guess he just wanted to opt for the other side. Wow, Yurian's <laughs> eyes were open for me. <laughs> Scary. That man staring you in the face. Alright, so yeah, Dogra maybe turning a new leaf with game two. Yeah, he's picked up the pace here to try and match it. Match what he's receiving. Good to EX tackle. Yeah, that EX shoulder. Dogra needs to use that as much as possible now before that nerf comes with the next patch. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna nerf it that much. Yeah. Hey, it's still useful. <laughs> Here we go. So yeah, Dogra. Really finding his pace now. Nice, keeps it safe. Just using it to get out there. Oh, that tackle. Man, that's plus two. Please don't press buttons after that. <laughs> oh, but he says I'm also plus two off my crouch medium kick. Big damage here from the Vega. Mix up, cross up blocks. Ooh, that's not confirmed that. Pretty sure you get a combo off that on hit. Nice. Well, we've got a turnaround. Yeah, definitely. So you can see um, Dogra maybe turning up the pace on his playstyle there. Really taking the fight to Xiao Bao rather than letting him you know, work at his own pace. And they're running right back into it? Yeah, I think they've already given each other the hand the thumbs up. <laughs> straight back into it. So, nothing slow here. Yeah, both very aggressive players from the seams of um, both the previous games now. Walk up slow. Once again, Xiao Bao not respecting that crack medium kick. Ah, misses the end here, but gets the deck. Maybe that's why Dogra hasn't been going for it. Maybe he's just like, you know what, I'm not going to even try. Just let him uh, jump in front of me. Yep, just let him jump. Uh, attack them on the ground. Oh, no counting, confirmed. He had the crouch, lap punch, the medium punch. There we go. Finally, Xiao Bao respects it. Such pressure. Yeah, it's just relentless. Both players. Oh, Ooh. catches a button. Big damage. Nice confirm. I'm pretty sure you can come off that on hit. I'm not too sure why. Ooh. Oh, it's going back in anyway. Ah, gets it again with the headbutt. That uh, hitbox is really uh, big. Yeah, it's so hard in that position. And you have Aegis right there in front of your face. It's just so frightening, you don't know what to do. One of the tools that Vega can use though is his EX uh, roll. It is projectile invulnerable and safe on block, so... Haven't seen Degura use too many projectiles though. Oh, here we go. Smash him down in the corner. He's got an out. Oh, nice sweep. Ah, uh, ends up crossing up after that tackle. Good reversal. Blocks the overhead, head, but that is definitely plus. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That was strange, making a whiff there, but... Oh, oh he caught something. Ah, uh, that Aegis. Here we go, let's see if you nice here and he gets out of the situation. Just wait for Aegis is inside. Xiao Bao still in this. A very difficult position. Oh! Uh, and surprise tackle takes it. Dogra moves on. It looked like he read that jump there. <laughs> yeah, really strong showing there from um, Xiao Bao as well, though. Yeah, that was very impressive. That, uh, that was quite <laughs> quite full on that whole match. Yeah, it was, um, you know, full, 
full uh, full force that whole set. Both players just taking it to each other, um, playing at that, you know, spacing one scenario the whole match. Yeah. So up next, we're going to have um, Ooh. An, a full Aussie match. We're going to have Dark Sided Somniac up against Buck Nasty. Buck Nasty um, placing second at our uh, last Australian Major at the end of last year, Season 1. Yep. Um, known for his Ryu and Armika in Season 1, but I'm pretty sure he's playing Nikali and Kami in Season 2 now, so... Switched it up. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, he's got an array of characters that he can cycle through, and um, I'm not too sure. These guys did actually play in the winner's bracket as well. Um, Somniac did uh, face off and win that set 2-1. So he's got the run back chance here. Correct, Could knock yeah. Somniac out. That's right. But yeah, um, it was a pretty close set. Um, Buck Nasty went into it playing Nikali, lost the first match, switched to yeah. Kami. And then tied it up 1 1, and then Somniac just with a solid play took it out 2 1. But yeah, so Buck Nasty's got that opportunity now to run it back, and I wonder if he's going to pick that Kami and then, you know, try and. I mean, um, he's got that um, that opportunity to kind of be like, you know, the character select screen specialist where you can just kind of pick what you kind of feel is going to get into the mind of your opponent and take advantage of that. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, Somniac known for his bison above all else. So it should be an interesting match. Yeah, definitely. Bison is his go-to. It's, it's been his bread and butter pretty much since day one of Street Fighter 4. And, you know, he hasn't left him yet in Street Fighter 5. He was having an issue with Bison. You know, it was a, a love-hate relationship in Season 1. <laughs> yep, yep. But after that, EXO was reverse buff. And, you know, a few more things that Bison got in Season 2. The uh, Somniac's been loving it ever since. So, Oh, yeah. I don't think he's uh, embarrassed to say that this character is now quite solid. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. But he is one of those firm believers that thinks, um, you know, EX Double Reverse isn't as strong as people believe. Yeah, very, very vocal. He's like, no, that's what Bison needed. Yeah, we saw <laughs> um, we saw Dogger last night in the team tournament actually facing off against Somniac and using uh, Yuri and Stan Heavy Kick, which was a clean answer yeah. most of the time. So um, let's see if uh, Buck Nasty has an answer here. I'm pretty sure he has a back medium punch. Um, to answer the EX Devils Reverse with Kami, but I'm not too sure who he's going to pick here. Like oh, I said before, he's got Nikali, he's got an array of characters. Well, if he had success with uh, Kami earlier, we might see it first off. Shadow Base. Shadow Base, my favorite stage. <laughs> uh, I still love the sheet. Join with Zangi. Ah. See, this is, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> if he's really a character, it's like. Oh! To see stuff like this. It's, it's getting to the point where I think Buck Nasty just needs to go in with random select. You know, he just needs to go random and just play whichever character he gets. He can play that many characters <laughs> in the game, why not? Completely, like, mind uh, screw your opponent. Yeah. Well, if they never know which, which matchup they're going to first, you know, it's, it's quite hard right. to prepare for that matchup. So let's see how Somniac fights up against Zengi. Not a character that too many people in Australia actually play, so no, I wonder how much uh, matchup experience Somniac does have in this time. Not a, not a super high level. Yeah, zoning with those Psycho Blast. Here we go, Zangief starting the party. Nice and early. Got that corner advantage. Kind of taking that SF4 approach to this matchup so far. Really taking his space out. Yeah, in SF4 this was a very, very, very slow matchup as well. Lots of scissor kicks, and now the new and improved Street Fighter 5 version of the matchup is Psycho really Blast. <laughs> <laughs> so it really hasn't changed that much, but it'll be interesting to see. You know, Zengi's Vortex game is very strong in Season 2. He's looking very neat of buffs. You can catch a Zengi with that standing fierce. That's right there. He'll convert to some big damage. He'll kind of get with that scissor kick. Heavier versions in this game are obviously so good. Oh, uses that projectile to get in. And one answer that um, I believe Zengief does have to the ASP versus the ASP versus the ASP as well, so... Yep. Let's see if Buck Nasty can um, put that one out when he sees the ASP versus come at him. But yeah, Somniac not really taking any risks in this matchup. What's really level? Down to 15 seconds already. <laughs> really happy to stand back. Very late gameplay, please. We need these viewers, Somniac. <laughs> Speed up the gameplay, please. There we go, we see a slide into V-Trigger, and of course, backdash is full screen. Get out. Oh, that's the V-Trigger. Trigger. And yeah, Buck Nasty just realizes he's not going to get anywhere. Insomniac killing the stream, second by second. 
Ah oh, man, the crowd monsters are absolutely going. Well, actually, disgusted with this player. <laughs> You know, take you back to the three part of four routes, much slower gameplay. There we go. Getting in there, punishing Here we go. I'm seeing the viewer count go up Ooh. right now. Here we go, the party's getting started. Buck Nasty oh, getting it. Here back we go. The Gets out. Backs off again. Yeah, that ear gets off. Ooh! That'd be the wrong reaction. Was maybe yeah. trying to go for the EX Psycho Blast and try and blow that with the V trigger, but EX is And here we go. That's the three part of four mentality right there. The sick, the scissors, <laughs> perfectly spaced. Yeah. Yeah. Can't really do much from that. Even if it is He's been doing it for about almost what nine years now. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Somniac, right. change it up a bit. <laughs> hey, he's got two new special moves in this game. That is true. No anti here though, and that um, is an opportunity for Buck Nasty to get something started here. Oh, that is punish. a punish! Very nice punish! That was really actually really punish. sick there from Buck Nasty. Good realization there, having that super stopped. Still got dead though, makes it safe. Oh. Oh. And tries to challenge the plus spray, and Somniac Why? says, No thank you, Crouch Medium Kick. Why? Don't do that. After such a sick reaction there with the super to punish that Bureau Reversal on block, he just throws it away with the Crouch Jab. But a good contest, you know, uh, a lot of Bison players go for the dash, you know, dash mix-ups yeah. after that V-trigger uh, v activation, so... Round one. Fight! Alright, back into it. No Case. character swap. So the first game took around seven minutes to complete, so let's see how long game two takes. <laughs> I mean, it's not a race. Well, it's, it's not a race. There's a timer there for a reason. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but come on, Som, I think the venue closes at 10pm tonight. We'd like your set to finish before then. <laughs> Still happy to kind of just try and fill out the normals here. Oh, he gets grabbed. Yeah, max range, light punch SPD there. Doesn't really get a vortex off the light punch SPD. Just flexing all day. Oh. Gets punished for it. Oh, catches that dash. Oh, misses the down forward heavy punch, but it's okay. The corner pressure, and yep, of course, Somniac just walking straight back, and there we go. Gotta be careful with that raw activation. I like how every time I call out Somniac for being lame, he's going in every time. Yeah, I like it. Maybe Quite having diverse some sort of influence over him. <laughs> ah, don't just flex. Have reason. Oh, gets crush counted. Quarter button yeah, just misses that. Oh, nice bad anti-air option there from Somniac, and this might be an opportunity. Ah, uh, gets right out of the corner there with the Neax. Oh, oh that is a big crush counter. That's a lot of damage. Oh, and he tried the air SPD there, but I don't know, messed up the input, got the body splash instead. I feel an EX scissor kick coming, and there it is. <laughs> Very nice. Psychic commentator. Now I do know Bison's hate being in a uh, life deficit against this egg. No one, I guess, no one really wants to. But he's catching Ooh, up here. Oh, I might take it. No, he drops the combo. Oh, Bad anti air option, and okay. So maybe the nerves getting the better of the Somniac in there last little bit, but managed to clutch down anyway, Bison. taking a 2 0 over Buck Nasty. Good set. And that was Loser's final, so Somniac's through to top 32. Yeah, so very good stuff to Somniac, making it out of his pool in losers. And um, tough luck there for Buck Nasty, losing to Somniac, both in winners and losers. But, you know, I think once he goes away, he can focus on which character he really wants to focus on um, when the new patch drops. All characters. Yeah, all characters. Isn't that what Infiltration says? That's right. You can't, you can't complain about characters if you play the whole roster. Exactly.